Welcome back to Geology Watch. In the summer of 2025, on the remote and icy coastline of southeastern Alaska, the map of the world quietly changed. A piece of land appeared where none existed before. Scientists analyzing routine satellite images from NASA's Landsat 9 noticed something impossible. A new, two-square-mile island sitting in the middle of a growing, milky-blue lake. This wasn't a volcanic eruption creating land from the sea. This was something far stranger. It was a ghost emerging from a dying giant. Before we uncover how this is possible, if you're interested in the dramatic changes shaping our planet, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to Geology Watch. The discovery was centered on a massive river of ice known as the Alsek Glacier. For centuries, this glacier had completely encircled a small mountain known as Prow Knob. On satellite images from 1984, Prow Knob was what geologists call a Nunatek, an isolated peak of rock entirely surrounded by glacial ice. Nunateks are invaluable scientific markers, acting like historical dipsticks, showing scientists the minimum thickness the ice once held. For generations, Prow Knob was a prisoner of the ice, a landmark known only to a handful of geologists. But as scientists compared the old images from Landsat 5 to the new high-resolution data from Landsat 9, the picture became terrifyingly clear. The Alsek Glacier was in a state of rapid collapse. The ice that had once buried the landscape for miles was thinning and retreating at an incredible rate. In the summer of 2025, the final wall of ice connecting the glacier to Prow Knob melted away severing the connection forever. The meltwater pouring off the glacier by the millions of gallons filled the newly empty basin. This process creates what is known as a pro-glacial lake, a body of water dammed by the glacier's own retreating front. As the glacier dies, the lake grows. The new body of water was named Alsek Lake, and Prow Knob, once a noon attack, was now a freestanding island. The scale of this retreat is staggering, yet it was not entirely unexpected. Glaciologist Maury Pelto, who first documented this glacier in 1984, noted that even then the ice was showing signs of significant thinning. But historical records paint an even more dramatic picture. In the early 20th century, the Alsek Glacier's terminus was miles away, at a place called Gateway Knob. By the mid-century, it had retreated eastward, but still firmly encompassed Prow Knob. Aerial photographs taken by the famed glaciologist Austin Post in August 1960 confirmed this, capturing the mountain peak completely surrounded by the vast expanse of the glacier. Now the glacier has pulled back so far that a five-square-kilometer lake and a new island sit in its place. The immediate discovery was confirmed, and scientists turned their attention to something far more profound than a new dot on a map. The real story wasn't just about the birth of an island, it was about the death of a glacier, and what that means for the rest of the world. This island isn't a sign of a healthy, dynamic planet. It is a tombstone, a two-square-mile monument to the speed of climate change. For geoscientists, this event is more than just a natural phenomenon. It's a planetary-scale experiment playing out in real time. Alaska's glaciers are currently losing over 75 billion tons of ice every single year. The birth of this island is just one highly visible consequence of that staggering loss. With the high-resolution data from Landsat satellites, Researchers can now precisely measure the volume of ice lost and the rate of retreat. This isn't a computer model or a future prediction. It is a direct, unambiguous measurement of our world changing before our eyes. This data allows scientists to refine models of how glaciers respond to warming temperatures, which in turn sharpens our understanding of future sea level rise. 
every new proglacial lake, every retreating terminus, and every new island born from the ice provides critical data points. In other words, this wasn't just about a new island in Alaska. It was about the future of every coastline on Earth. But here's where the story takes a final paradoxical turn. The Alaskan event proved that melting ice can, in rare cases, create new land. But here's the surprising twist. The very same process is, on a global scale, doing the exact opposite. The water melting from the Alzec Glacier and its neighbors in Greenland and Antarctica is pouring into the oceans. That water is the primary driver of global sea level rise, which is currently accelerating to a rate of over 4.5 millimeters per year. That may not sound like much, but it is enough to begin swallowing low-lying islands in places like the Pacific Ocean. Nations like Tuvalu and the Maldives are facing an existential crisis. Their highest points are just a few meters above sea level, and they are already experiencing severe coastal erosion and saltwater intrusion into their freshwater supplies. They are losing land, not gaining it. So we are now living in a world where the primary driver of sea level rise, melting ice, is simultaneously creating a new island in one location while condemning others to disappear beneath the waves. The birth of one is directly linked to the death of the others. This new Alaskan island, therefore, is an extraordinary and sobering landmark. It's like a natural alarm bell we can see from space. A beautiful, rugged piece of land that shouldn't exist, born from a process that threatens coastlines everywhere. It is a silent, powerful reminder. Glaciers that took thousands of years to form are disappearing within the span of a single human lifetime. We don't live on a static world. We live on a planet that is shifting and rewriting its story faster than we ever thought possible. If this story gave you a new perspective on our changing planet, please like this video and subscribe to Geology Watch. Join us as we continue to document the incredible forces shaping the only world we call home.